begin with uh, our reporter, Nkosi Duma. The EFF has expressed confidence that it will make inroads in Gwazul Natal, where the party has seen a sustained increase in support since 2014. Secretary General Marshal Gamini visited the province today as part of the party's campaign trail, since uh, ahead, in fact, of the 1st of November municipal polls. And that's where we find our reporter, Nkosi Duma, uh, who is uh, in Durban for us. And Nkosi one of the things that has been, uh, you know, at play when it comes to uh, the, the province where you do your work is that the IFP has been gaining some kind of momentum over the years and the threat of the IFP is real for the governing party in that province. But there's another threat that is also real and that is the growth that we've seen being sustained by the economic freedom fighters in that particular province. That is indeed correct, um, Bongiwe. Um, the IFP has been, you know, having a, a regaining moment here in Brazil Natal. Uh, we see with these by elections that have been taking place, they have been regaining wars that they previously lost. Um, they, 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 uh, that, that party has actually said that what has ha assisted them is, of course, the demise of the National Freedom Party, which had split from it in 2011, as well as the ANC's woes. I mean, with the greater dissatisfaction with the governing party, mean, you know, comes, you know, rewards for opposition parties. And one of those parties is, of course, the economic freedom fighters. What we have been seeing them doing in KwaZulu Natal is that they've been seen to be mobilizing a high number of young people. They've been winning SRC elections at various high education institutions, and they've been holding these mass marches that have actually outdone even those of the governing party. You recall the recent one being the march in Phoenix. I am now joined by the EFF's uh, Secretary General, Mr. Masha Dlamini, who will detail to us their grand plan about how exactly do you plan on winning KwaZulu Natal, given that there are stronger players such as the EF, such as the IFP and the DA. No, we're here in the Vasuna Tal. We contesting all the 901 watts, 901 watts of Vasuna Tal. Uh, this is our province from uh, Coke State to Mkabuyalinga. Everywhere we go, it belongs to the EFF. Just now, we just came from King Kajoyo region, we went to Ilembe region, we went to region, where we are speaking to our councillors, uh, the ones who are going to be running these municipalities, ensuring that they conduct themselves in a dignified manner because our communities, they are hungry for respectful leaders, they are hungry for dignified leaders who listens to them, who lives with them, who conduct themselves in a manner that is acceptable because they've been uh, undermined for the longest time by these uh, other parties that have been running these municipalities. You saw our show in 2019, we're going to up the game, we're going to make sure that each and every word we are going for it. So we are prepared to run uh, municipalities, especially this one of the team. Behind me, our councillor candidates, all of them, they are in their awards, they are uh, communicating with our communities. Our manifesto was launched on Sunday, successful launch. Uh, our councillors, they are ready, they are on the ground, uh, populating our manifesto, talking to our people, because it was the people's manifesto. It's them who designed it, it's them who said, these are our wishes, these are the areas of interest. We had a big problem here in Etchegwini, where Mayor just stole over 100 million of refuse uh, uh, money budget, and they took that money. What happened to that mayor? They promoted it to provincial legislature. We've got a clown who's the current mayor now. Our people were killed in Phoenix. He's never been to Phoenix. Our people, they were murdered in they brought light by racist uh, Indians in Phoenix. He's never been there. Their houses were burned. He's never built even one house. So the people of uh, Chewin and the people of KZN, they are ready. This is the home of uh, the EFM. Uh, this is province. All of it, it belongs to the EFM. As you can see, we are being welcomed each and every street. This street belongs to us. And that's exactly what we're going to do up until the day of victory, which is the 1st of November. Well, Mr. Damini, one of the criticisms that is leveled against the EFF is that we are able to mobilize people to come to gatherings like this. We are able to, to, to mobilize a lot of people even on social media. But when it comes to actually showing up at the polls, they don't, those people don't also appear. 
at least that has given parties like the IFP enough confidence. They are saying they're actually the third biggest largest political party because they control uh, councils, they control votes, which you know, which they, which you guys actually don't. So how do you plan to to make sure that the EFF this time around comes up with one council that says that this is a municipality that is governed by the EFF? Look, it's an unfair criticism. The EFF started contesting elections in 2014. Local government, our, this is our first local government that we're contesting. The first one was in, uh, in, tw in 2016. But it's okay, we accept that criticism because the people of South Africa, they understand that this is the only genuine party that stands for Africans. The rest, they represent the whites and the minorities from the ANCTA, including IFP. They are regional parties, so we're not concerned uh, about, about regional parties that uh, they are already dying. Ours is to build a, 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 an organization with a solid base because we don't want popcorn victory where people are going to give us a municipality tomorrow they remove us. So that's why we are patient. That's why even in 2016 when we had different municipalities, we, when they said no, come take a mayor here because there were coalition discussions, the leadership of the EFF in its own wisdom said, you know, it's the first time our councillors they enter the municipalities, we're not going to rush them, they must know and understand governance. Now they understand governance, that's why we're going for everything. And we can tell you now, we're going to come out with mayors in, this, uh, in these municipalities. So the issue that people are, people are not voting, you must look at the trend from 2014 when we started contesting elections. We are the only party that has been growing in terms of numbers. So we, we, are, we accept the, the comparison of a 108-year-old party and a 44-year-old party. We accept that because we are giving them a run for their money. So they must watch on these elections. We are here, we are going for them. We are coming from Zululand. IFP, they know, they are frustrated now because in their small minds, they thought we are their friends. We are not going to go and contest Zululand. We are coming from Zululand. Yesterday I was in Zululand. We are going to contest all those who are Pongola, Lundi, uh, Nongoma. We are there. We are here in Etiagwini. The ANC, they know, we are going to the south coast where ANC used to win with 100% of what's now. That's why you saw their behavior behaving like uh, fools in Mpumundovu, because they've never been contested. We went to Mpumundovu to demonstrate that we are here. We're not scared of them. We're going to take them talk to talk. We're on the streets. Well, um, Bonkiwe, that was the EFF Secretary General, Mr. Marshal Zamini. He's confident. He's saying that after these local government elections, the country will see for the first time mayors who come from the EFF. Mkosi Kona, before you let uh, Mr. Zamini go, I want you to ask him this question because we can't let him go without asking this question that has been on everybody's mind since this morning. The, the party was notably absent from the IEC Code of Conduct signing ceremony. Why was that? Mr. Damien, in fact, this is a question that has been in everyone's lips. Uh, uh, my colleague Bongi has just reminded us. The EFF was noticeably absent today at the IEC signing of the Code of Conduct. You also have not uh, submitted your list of donors. Why is that? No, we didn't attend because we don't have time for jokes. We said to the IEC when the Musenege inquiry was, was uh, taking place in terms of checking the viability and the visibility of is it, is, are we going to be able to conduct free and uh, fair elections. When that process was ongoing, the IEC they went to launch elections in Sentin and we told them that you are wasting taxpayers' money. So we don't have time for jokes. We're not going to participate on people who are reckless with our people's money because they are doing it for the second time. They did it in Sentin. Now they go back to Nazareth again to go and waste our own money when they've got offices in Pretoria that they, they own. Why they did not do it there? So we don't have time, uh, we don't have time for jokes. So we are busy on the ground speaking to our people. We will go and make sure that our, all our councillors, our uh, MLOs, they participate in the proper meetings of the IEC, not for some fanfare and board people. We don't have time for that. So that's why we didn't attend. But how are you going to make sure that then South Africans know that the EFF will be conducting itself in a fair manner? And I ask this against the backdrop of some of the criticism that has been leveled against you. In fact, the ANC in KwaZulu Natal did release a statement alleging misconduct uh, during, this during this campaign trail. No, there's no more misconduct. You guys were there in Mpumundu. It's the ANC who went to, 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 to stop us in uh, going to the voting stations when I was with the president and the fighters there to go and 
check uh, voter registration weekend. Because they are crazy people, they know that they are losing power and they're not accepting that. It's painful for them. They are the ones who went to, to, to stop us. We know we've got the electoral act. We know everything else that we're supposed to do as a party. We, this is the fourth election that we are, we, are, we, are, we are participating on. So we are the most disciplined party. We are the most uh, respectful party. Everything that we conduct, we run matches uh, with big numbers. We, run, we do our events with big numbers. There's never even one incident where someone came and said uh, uh, some business has been disrupted. I'm coming from Tlatuze now. The residents of Tlatuze were in town. So we're not going to be uh, directed by those uh, slow thinkers and they want to involve us uh, when they are wasting uh, the, 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 money, the resources of the state because there was no reason for them to go and launch elections for the second time when they were told that wait until all the processes are done. Let the inquiry finish. Let the court finish. Um, Mr. Tlamini, thank you so much. We are, yeah, unfortunately, out of time. Well, thank you. Um, this Mr. Masha Tlamini is saying that they are disciplined. Uh, their lack of participation in today's meeting uh, is just because they did not want to participate in what he called a clown. A clown show is still here. Uh, so there you have it from the AFF. But he's taken and undertaking that the AFF will be making sure that they conduct themselves in line with the law during, uh, uh, no, ahead of the upcoming local government election.